Bitcoin was yesterday able to break our horizontal range and hit our very important key level. In today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we will talk about the unfortunate liquidations happening exactly at the high of the move and also what are going to be our next very important price targets. But first of all, what we are going to see. It really looks like that Bitcoin literally, after releasing yesterday's video, got a significant push towards the upside. Not only that we were able to break our previous highs, where it does look like there was no liquidity grabs happening, that is why of course we were not unfortunately offered with a short or a sell position, but we went slightly higher towards our weekly area of resistance and also towards our daily level at approximately 44,200 US dollars. Now, when we do pay attention to our volume indicator, it really looks like that we got a very slight volume increase on the push towards the upside. Now, this specific volume increase, it looks like it was because quite a lot of short positions were getting liquidated. And looking right now on the one hourly time frame, we are actually going to notice that on the first bullish one hourly candle right here, we got approximately 10 million of shorts getting liquidated. On the next one, another 13, and also exactly at the high of the move, another 4 million of short positions getting completely wrecked and liquidated. That is why it really looks like that as of right now, we are wrecking quite a lot of people with this specific push towards the upside. We are also seeing a very slight volume increase, which I would actually say it is going to be some kind of a bearish Bitcoin indication, but that does not mean that we should already right now go with a short or a sell, because we need to understand the previous area of resistance at 44,300 US dollars that was, of course, a very important level yesterday is right now turned into an area of support, which right now means, first of all, we need to break our area of support towards downside to see a confirmation that we are seeing an acceptance back into our horizontal range before I would actually go with a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price itself. And let me right now share with you why this specific level is a very important one, because not only it is going to be the top of our horizontal range, not only we do have our previous highs exactly right here, but also what if we right now measure the entire volume of our horizontal range and you're actually going to notice that our value area high is going to land approximately at our previous highs and also approximately at our previous lows at 43,200 US dollars. So what can we right now say? If Bitcoin in the upcoming hours is going to see a push towards an upside, do see acceptance below our value area low right here, we are going to start trading once again in our horizontal range. We are going to once again lose our daily high term time frame area of support right here, bearish indication of Bitcoin and most probably the this push towards the upside was only some kind of a deviation from our horizontal range. Most probably, we are still in a corrective phase for Bitcoin and we are simply going to see another rotation back towards downside, back towards our very important areas of support. Now, what if Bitcoin is not going to see a push towards the downside? What if our support area right here is actually going to hold and we are going to continue higher? Of course, we always want to be prepared for more upside and also for more downside. So our next upper price target is actually going to be pretty much a brand new higher high. We do not have any more high term time from areas of resistances above us. We literally hit our weekly level, we hit our daily level, and as of right now, if this right here is going to hold and we are going to continue higher, all we are looking for right here, brand new higher high, which is of course going to be a liquidity level, or maybe even preferably our next high term time from area of resistance, which is going to be our monthly level at 45,500 US dollars. Pretty much all we are looking for right here, if we do continue higher, is a brand new higher high, because as of right now, we also need to remember, Bitcoin is still trading in a significant uptrend on the two hourly, on the one hourly, and also on the four hour time frame. And before we go into the trading ideas, if you you want to trade with us, 30,000 US dollar free trading bonus is right now still available with the first link down below. And with the second link, you can right now enter the iPhone 15 giveaway. Click the second link right here. All you have to do is to deposit 100 US dollars in your Bybit account, and you're going to be eligible to get a brand new iPhone 15 until 12th of January. So of course, if you want to enter the 
giveaway, click the second link down below in the description. Right now, before we talk about Bitcoin's trading ideas, I would really like to go briefly through Ethereum trading ideas because this one right here also, it looks like it is struggling and it's struggling against Bitcoin. If we go right now very quickly with Ethereum Bitcoin chart, this one is seeing a significant push towards downside. And here I would actually say it can be a very nice trading idea offered to us, maybe even in the upcoming days, because we are going to notice we are trading very, very close towards our previous low, which is going to be a liquidity level. If we start breaking our previous low on Ethereum Bitcoin chart, it's simply going to mean we are hitting a very important key level. And of course, monitoring the reaction below the previous low can give us a brand new long or in buying position. And how can this also reflect to Ethereum USD chart? This one right here, if we go right now back on the four hourly or maybe also in the two hourly time frame, what we are looking for right here, if Bitcoin is actually going to be able to continue our way towards the upside, Ethereum USD chart simply needs to break a diagonal area of resistance. That being said, monitor Ethereum Bitcoin chart if we are going to be able to, first of all, break our previous low right here. If Ethereum USD chart is going to be able to break our diagonal area of resistance. And of course, also because of that, we can then be bullish on Ethereum expecting another higher high to be made in the upcoming days. But overall speaking right now, Ethereum USD is struggling against Bitcoin. That is why I'm telling to you, in the upcoming days, we need to be aware of the low that potentially can be broken on Ethereum Bitcoin chart. Now, let's go back into the Bitcoin chart because this one right here can also offer us a lot of brand new trading opportunities. As we already mentioned yesterday, we can be interested going with a short or sell position at this specific area, especially if a swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab above our previous highs is going to happen. It did not happen, that is why as of right now, we still need to be slightly more patient before going with a short or a sell position. But I would say that going with a short or a sell, it's actually a valid trading idea, especially if we are going to see acceptance back in our horizontal range. Now, if you do feel a little bit more risky, I would say looking for a short already right here, yes, you could be doing that, but nevertheless, your stop loss definitely needs to be placed slightly above our previous high and definitely before our previous high is going to be broken because as mentioned before, if we break through our previous high, this one right here is already going to be another very important key level. So, if you're looking to go with a brand new short or sell position, what are going to be our next important price targets? Because we need to understand if we go right now, for example, with our RSI indicator, if we go with our money flow indicator, let's say on the two hour time frame, this one right here on the Bitcoin chart, higher high, lower high on the RSI. On the four hour time frame, we are being in the overbought area on the money flow indicator. And also, if we go right now with our MAGD indicator, you're going to notice lower highs are being formed, higher highs are being printed on Bitcoin. And also on the two hour time frame, pretty much the exact same thing. We are forming bearish divergences. We are forming some bearish indications already. So if we do see a push towards downside on Bitcoin, of course, looking for a long or a buy right here, in my opinion, it's not a good idea. Or if you are looking to go with a long or a buy right here, definitely set a stop loss back in our horizontal range. But nevertheless, we right now know, okay, we are hitting weekly and also the daily high term time frame area of resistance. Okay, the indicators right now are being a little bit more bearish. Yes, we do need to understand that going with a short or a sell position right here is going against the trend. That is why I'm telling to you the short position is slightly more risky. However, if we are going with a short right here, the next very important price target is actually going to be our brand new daily level that was confirmed yesterday. So if we go right now with our daily time frame, going with a horizontal range, you're going to see that a brand new level on Bitcoin was formed at 42,300 US dollars. This right here is right now going to be our first target if we are looking for a short race down position. Now, again, as mentioned before, we have right now two types of shorts. If you're feeling a little bit more risky already right now, which of course it is going to give us a better risk to reward ratio or if you want to wait for Bitcoin to see acceptance back in our horizontal range, of course, your entry is going to be slightly later. That is why most probably then we want to target pretty much the bottom of our horizontal range. So we have right now a little bit more different options with what we want to go. But of course, we have also different probabilities of trades playing out. Better risk to reward is going to give us if we go with a short right now, but slightly more risk. Or if we simply want to see some kind of a confirmation, acceptance back in the range right here, it is going to give us a slightly 
worse risk to reward ratio, but a higher probability trade. Now, we have our daily level right here. Then the next support area, or I would actually say the next very important key level, is simply going to be our point of control. And also, you're actually going to see if we go from our low back towards our previous high, golden Fibonacci ratio aligning perfectly with the point of control, aligning perfectly with our previous low right here for liquidity purposes. So, if we do see push towards downside, first key level is the daily, which in my opinion, it's not really a significant support area. A better support area is actually going to be the golden Fibonacci ratio and the mid level of our horizontal range. If we then go even lower, what you're also going to notice, another daily level, another value area low. But I would actually simply say that take the profits gradually from your trade if Bitcoin does actually progress its way towards downside. So as of right now, the plan is very, very clear. Personally, I am not interested longing right here where we are at the moment because I'm aware that we have gotten quite a significant push towards the upset of approximately 8%. That is why I'm only interested going with a short order sell. It is slightly more risky, but nevertheless, because we do know how much we are risking, because we do know where our stop loss is, because we do know where our take profits are, I would actually say the trade right here is valid. And if you want to trade with us, 30,000 US dollar free trading bonus is available with the first link. With the second link down below, you can enter the brand new iPhone giveaway. Thank you very much. If you're right now, actually smashed up the like button. Have a great day and peace out.